Congratulations, Bridgepoint Class of 2020. You have definitely earned the honor to be able to graduate with your diploma. We all know how amazing every single one of you are. And every single one of you have a story to tell about how you've got here. Um, you are all missed. My classroom door is always opened. It always has been to you guys. Those snacks will still be there for you even when you're 28 years old with six kids. My heart is always here for you. And I'm so proud of every single one of you and where you've gone today. But don't let this be the end. You have so many other things you're gonna accomplish in your lives. Just know that I always love you and that I'm always here for you no matter what. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hi, this is Chef Roberts. And I look back over the last three years and you know I love the students here. Um, we are family. This is a kind of a special, different graduation, um, but still just as impactful. And I want you to realize that, that even though we're not physically together, that you know um, our hearts are still so filled with love for each one of you. I love you all. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hi, congratulations to the class of 2020. Um, I just want to send a, say a special shout out to, to Jade and to Gregory. Congratulations for four years of the call program. You made it. It's time to think big and work hard and dream, dream your dreams. And we just wish you all the best and congratulations again. So, real quick, simple question. The question is going to be, what is something that this school or the staff has taught you here, and what has that meant to you? Um, well, you know, they don't, they didn't teach me school things like, um, you know, how to do better at this subject or that subject. They, um, they all raised me to who I am right now and they just helped me in my personal life a lot and if it wasn't for them I don't think my family or myself would be where I am today it's all because of them because they just the way they talked to me um, they gave me the best advice they were always with me they had my back for everything um, and I just really appreciate and I love all of them and I'll never forget them because they you know they they helped me a lot in, in life and I, I don't know I just I love them a lot because um, I was in a very dark place but they they pulled me out. 
the school has taught me a lot, but the mo the one thing they taught me was not to give up. Yeah, Talk about much. it. Why? Because when I left the memorial, I had like no no effort in trying in school, and then I came here, and then I they like they made me open my eyes that I had another chance. They made me realize that I could keep going and not give up. So I really do appreciate them for this, and just it feels good. Um, something that the school and staff has taught me is to like keep going and moving forward because actually the staff here is really nice and like really good and they're very helpful and encouraging like I'll always appreciate them and I'll come back to when I'm older obviously to visit the school and the staff because they're always going to hold a special place in my heart because like they actually like motivated me to graduate early and like everybody in the office and my teachers as well like they're very nice and understanding and they like are very helpful. To be yourself and it is very meaningful because I used to care a lot what people would think about me but then coming here and meeting the staff and the students and seeing all the different people just made me be myself. They have taught me that just because we're at a continuation school or a different type of school from memorial or somebody or someplace else that you still matter that you know you're not an outcast people may treat you like an outcast people may stop talking to you you may lose friends you know you may stop talking to people who you used to talk to all the time but you meet new people and you know you and it's okay it's okay for you know you to lose those friendships and to lose those connections with people because you start to connect more with yourself and you start to find out and figure out who you are. You get to spend more time to figure out what you want to do and who you want to be. Hi, my name is Miss Veronica. I'm here uh, as a campus monitor at Bridgepoint High uh, and Crossroads. Um, my message to you guys, class of 2020, is that uh, I'm very proud of you guys uh, for all the things that you guys have done. Um, I know it's been really hard, especially right now at this time. I just want to say that um, I really love this school and I love the kids that come to the school. Um, my purpose here is to motivate you guys and to really see that um, we care about you guys and that we want you guys to succeed. Um, even though we, uh, you don't have good times here or you're not, um, you're not feeling good, we're here for you guys no matter what. Uh, you know, it's uh, hard on everybody when um, you say that you can't do it and that's when all the teachers and even I will let you guys know that you guys can't. I wake up every morning um, you know to come to school here and work. Uh, there isn't too many jobs or people that like jobs that like waking up um, and going to work so I'm one of those people that love coming to work here um, for you guys. I love you guys, I love you guys and um, I love the relationship that we all have uh, with each other, um, and I hope nothing but the best for you guys, and I hope uh, we keep in touch no matter what. Congratulations, guys. Love you guys. This could be a little bit deeper and harder of a question, but I want you to think about this. Like, What has impacted your journey in graduating today? What are things that you had to go through, the hard, difficult, painful things that you had to experience in order for you to overcome them and graduate today? I feel like, obviously, like this school has always been like, 
old bad kids whatever but I feel like not everybody comes here just because they want to come it's because they go through other things that doesn't like makes it hard for them like I struggle with depression so it made me miss a lot of school so that just made it really hard for me and I feel like here the teachers care more about you so like it it just got a lot better because here like it's smaller so it feels more like a, a tight community so yeah I think that was hard for me so I'm proud that I'm graduating You know, I kind of let my friends get in the way of my goals. You know, not saying you can't have friends, but it's kind of like you gotta like have that focus and maintain friends at the same time. And what type of influence has that been? Like? I can kind of say that um, it's just been like really big. You know, I've also had struggles with my dad um, when he used to drink, and it's just it was really hard for me seeing him like that all the time. You know, arguing and stuff like that. You know, I noticed once I came here, I can kind of like, I can do this. You know, it was a lot smaller, a lot less overwhelming for me. As time went on, you know, my dad stopped drinking and I kind of, everything just kind of came full circle, so. I've gone through really bad depression my first few years of Memorial. I have really bad anxiety it was bad for me. The reason I'm here in Crossroads was because of a specific reason. I came into Crossroads not wanting to see people. I didn't want to be around people. I had social anxiety. I couldn't be around other students. I missed school for a week. I couldn't, I was anxious, I was jumpy. I still am. But because of this, I was able to go someplace where I felt safer. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of people and I was a lot more secluded, but I felt safe and I felt comfortable and I was able to work towards getting all my credits and, you know, getting here and just being able to overcome that. My pregnancy, it was, it was hard because I had to be here on time. I had to come here every day. It was just hard to like show up here, but I did it. <laughs> So what made you push to do that? Yeah. Well, my parents and knowing that I'm gonna have to be responsible to take care of a baby. Yeah. Is it a boy, girl? It's you know, a boy. You know what you want to name him yet? Or? Anthony. So the mom being a single parent, it was it as easy. Of course, it's not the same as other parents, families, but that was a big supporter. I didn't have a dad, so she pushed me even more. Told me I could do it without him. I knew I could do it without him. I did it without him. Life goes on. When I was 17, when I come to this country, I told my mom that this is the new life for me. And like a lot of people say that I that they they never believe in me but that uh, a lot of teachers they always tell me that, that I'm, a, I'm a person that when when I really focus what I want I have to fight to to get what I want so in three three years I had to uh, learn English it's something like a little bit difficult for me because a lot of people like just see what what is like a what they always have something to say about you you know and then they they always say that I can never uh, learn that the this language and then I think many people help me to to be to, to be here, you know. It's great. 
for the class of 2020 that's graduating this year, um, all I have to say is that I watched all of you guys put your hard work in and I seen the struggles and the effort. Um, just know that we all got this, okay? We're, we were sent off by good people. You know, we were taught by amazing people and just never forget the things that we were taught by the staff. Just be proud of the work that you've done. Be proud that, you know, we all graduated because I, I am proud for us and I am happy and honored to be standing here and saying that I'm proud of you guys because I bet not a lot of you guys hear that by anyone that people are proud of you. But, you know, I'm proud that I went to school and basically grew up with you guys. And you guys mean a lot to me because when I was low and now that I'm a better person, you know, you guys were basically with me through all of that. And um, just know that you guys will never be forgotten. So, congrats all of us I'm very proud and we're gonna rock college or life after um, who do you want to be who's the person you want to be what kind of character do you want to be what kind of person years from now look back and say this is the kind of guy I would like to be this is the kind of guy I like to see myself being I don't know. I just want to be like someone who will like obviously like successful, but not just like monetarily, like with like relationships too, like with my family and friends. So yeah, just like successful in general and hardworking. When I look back, I want to, because right now, or like when I look back, on past years, I like I was not, no, I was none of that. I didn't really try in like freshman year. That's why I'm in this hole. Or well, that's why I had to take myself that outside of that hole. But yeah. I want to be myself more more than anybody else. Somebody. I want to be something that's more important than just living. I want to be something that. People look up to and be like, yep, I'm gonna be like her. I just want them to know me for me, you know? And nothing, who is nothing that? Big. I mean, you can count on me when you want to count on me, you know? I'm gonna call away, text away. Just, I want to be there for people, you know? How they were there for me. Especially my family, my friends, my close friends, you know? I want to be, um, like, I want to be that girl that's just like, I did it. You know, I did it. You can't tell me. You doubted me, and I did it. Don't tell me I couldn't. I want to be someone that, you know, people look up to, I guess, you know. Someone someone that leads the people on, you know, leads the youth on, you know. Because I feel like right now, like, I mean, there are people leading it, but what are they doing for the world, you know? And I want to I wanna have more people, you know, just... Just do stuff, you know, do stuff for, for the youth, for the next generation. So class of 2020, it has been an honor to work with you. Um, this isn't the year we envisioned. I know that you all really wanted to be out in the courtyard in your caps and gowns. But I think we kind of knew this year was different pretty early on. Um, in October, you know, we, we lost Anthony. And that was a loss that none of us will ever forget, uh, regardless of, of how close we were to Anthony or not. Um, that forever shifted things on this campus for this class. In both, you know, in a, in a lot of different ways. And so I think in some ways that moment really kind of set the tone for how things were going to go but i don't mean that in a, in a negative way i think the important message of, of 2020 is there's always light even in the darkest moments 
and we miss all of you and I know you miss all of us but I almost feel like you guys are fighters you've always been fighters and many of you needed to kind of fall down get knocked down end up here many of you sometimes angrily ended up here to kind of realize who you really were this is a place where you've come into your own and so I know that this isn't how we wanted it to end but I know that you're out there standing strong and in my heart you're still walking that stage and hopefully in a few months you will I, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud to have been the principal for the class of 2020 who can weather all these storms and come out of it with joy, with enthusiasm, with newfound strength. The strength you always had, but it took tragedy for you to get back in touch with. You can do anything, anything that you want to do because you did this year. So congratulations. It is my privilege to serve as your principal, and it is my privilege to confer on you the honor of graduating from high school. Be well, be safe, stay in touch, don't forget who you are. Oh, we're here. We welcome you back anytime. Thank you guys, we love you. People who kind of helped me got the way, you know, I like to say thank you, you know, for pushing me and just, you know, nagging at me all the time, you know, to uh, just get my work done and, you know, I didn't really have, like, the motivation to do anything. Thank you for having faith in me. Thank you for helping me, motivating me in life, not just in school. This person means the world to me because they always push me to do better and they want me to be better for myself. These two people were really important to me because every time like I needed more support or I needed like up being uplifted, they would always tell me to try to do my best, like stay on track. This person means the world to me because she's never got off my butt about being in school. The person I dedicate this rose to is to somebody who pushed me and knew I could become somebody not give up on me. This person has um, always been there for me and supported me and like really motivated me to actually do good in school and all that and like to not give up and just try to like go for my dreams and like actually um, do something with myself but also for myself. So the first person I want to give this to is I want to just thank them for always being there and helping me with my journey, always motivating me. To make sure I was on my stuff 24-7 Make sure I don't give up. These people that I give my rose to have been there a lot and have helped me through a lot. Oh, man. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Primero que nada, yo quiero dedicar es, esto, este esfuerzo que yo hice a dos personas muy importantes en mi vida. This person has helped not only me, but my brother also. Um, she's been there since day one, ever since I came to the school. The person that's receiving this rose is receiving this because um, they really showed me that you know kindness comes from anywhere, and it could be even like you know a student at a school like this. You know, this person always, always like motivated me. You know, like. Maybe, maybe that was your job, you know? The main person who has impacted me, uh, helped me change uh, since like freshman year. I wasn't as close with him as I like wanted to be. I honestly wouldn't be where I would be and I wouldn't even care about graduating or doing any work or anything. Cause she was always there to like push me and she always yelled at me and everything. This flower goes out to all the people that helped me out, stayed in my path that I wanted to stay in, and not, never doubted me. Um, I really do appreciate y'all, and I hope the best for y'all, nothing but the best. 
There's three people that are special to me because they never gave up on me. They were always up on me, telling me to do everything, never give up. I want to give this rose to the only person that was there for me. I'm glad I went to Bridgepoint because, like, coming to Bridgepoint is like different for me. Like all the staff members and the other teachers, like, literally taught me everything and like helped me to graduate this school. Because she's always been there for me, even when nobody else was, and and she always believed in me. They mean a lot to me. They helped me become a better person, taught me to accept people for who they are, not to judge. The people that I want to honor in this rose have helped me in my life, and I will forever be grateful. Mr. H and Smith, thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Smith. This is for Miss Smith and for my best friend Jessica. And that person is my mom. There's roses to my mom. I dedicate this rose <laughs> to my mom and myself, but my mom is here. <laughs> So I want to give this rose to Brenda Garcia, my best friend. But these people are my mom and my best friend. Y se los voy a dedicar a ellos, a mis padres. That person is Miss Smith. This, this rose goes to Cornell. I give my rose. To Miss Smith. This is to my dad. My mom's name's Yolanda, and this is for her. This one goes out to my family, to my peoples that helped me out in my worst days and my bad days, and I really do appreciate y'all, and I love y'all. Thank you. Uh, this is for you, Miss Calderon, Miss Smith, and my mother. Uh, this is for you. So this is for you. So this is to my mother, the rest of my family, my cousins Michael, Mark, and Revy. I want to thank all of you guys. <laughs> so this rose is for Miss Smith, Mr. Tiano, Mr. Wall, Miss um, Veronica, Miss Chaffee, Miss Calderon. Ooh. Where do you want? Where do you want to give this one? Oh, everyone here? Everyone here. Oh. Oh. You can give it to your parents? You can give it to your parents. Mom or dad. Okay. Mom and dad. Or you can okay. give it to someone else. Mom and or dad. keep it to yourself. Yeah, keep it to yourself. Yeah. What does that mean for you? What did that your family mean to you? Means what? Mean. Means a lot. Means a lot. Why? Because they're my parents. They're my parents. Yeah. <laughs>
better so we healed ourselves Putting poison in the water, had to dig a well I never seen an iPhone that they couldn't sell Take a bite out the apple and get the live to tell I'm on my job, pivot like the tide The Holy Ghost marches stride for stride Just know that the jungle rules apply On sacred terrain, may your effort never be in vain Evil has a face, things will never be the same This fight will rewrite better days From the totem to the cave, here's to turning the page On Zoom in your cap and gown, couldn't walk the stage A fair one's a fair one, now you'll never be afraid Here's to resistance and roadblocks Converting losses to wins, cargo to cash drops Rebuke the padlocks, name your price, live the love another day Be a vessel for your village like the pathway He's very smart, and I've always told him that since he started struggling in school. He was my first child, I had him at 15, and I always said I was never going to give up on him. His father wasn't around, and I always feel like he felt like, like he wasn't enough, like he wasn't loved, and although I tried to feel both. I know I never did, but he never made me feel like I was anything less. And I never, and I will continue to never give up on him, and he knows that. I am blessed to have you. You're very modest, very humble, and never ask for much. And look where you're at right now. It's because you deserve it. You work so hard to be where you're at right now, and you're still you're just, you are an overachiever, and that's good. Nate, nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's a good thing. It's a positive thing. And it, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult for me to see them go through so much and see everything they've gone through, so I have to be as strong as I can for them. Thank you for having us. Hi, Point and Crossroads graduates. Uh, congratulations on this chapter of your life. Um, you guys should be very proud of yourself that you made it this far. Um, and I wanted to wish you all luck in the next chapter of your life. Just so you know that it's been a pleasure for me to, uh, to be a part of your life in the classroom. And I hope that you guys will stay in touch and um, wish you all the best in whatever you decide to do moving forward so um that is it and i'll miss you guys take care okay bye last 2020 might have been a rough road coming but the best is yet to come
Bridgepoint, Crossroads, where you at? I'm Elaine Welteroth and I am so honored to have the opportunity to give each of you so much love and to say to you, I honor you for your hard work, for your commitment, and for making it to this finish line. This is a big deal, and I know this is not exactly how you had envisioned celebrating the end of this particular chapter in your life, but please take a moment to just pat yourself on the back, to call a friend, and to encourage them, and remind them of how far they've come. And I just wanna tell you, I see you, and I'm so, so proud of each and every one of you for making it to where you are today. At the same time, I want you to know this is just the beginning. And every single thing that you've overcome to get to this stage is a tool. Every single thing that you've gone through has given you tools that you're going to need every single step of the way forward. Um, and in this moment of great transition and great uncertainty, when the fear comes up, when the doubt comes up, grab onto those tools because you've used them before to get through unspeakable things and you will use them again to get through this. Um, remember that there is a reset that's happening right now in our world and in our culture and you get to be a part of creating the change that you wanna see in your life, in your community, and for your future. So do not be discouraged. This is the time to really dream up what you want your legacy to be and to commit to that in writing if you can and start to map out what are the steps that you can take, what are the decisions that you can make today, tomorrow, what are the ways that you can walk this out next week and the week after that to get closer to where you wanna be. I will tell you that anything, literally anything is possible. And I believe that you can do anything that you put your mind to. You've already gotten this far. So don't give up, stay encouraged, keep surrounding yourself with people who see you, who believe in you, that is key. Drop the haters, drop the people who don't appreciate what you bring to the table. Surround yourself with love and give yourself love and grace right now as we navigate this difficult part of the journey. Um, and just remember, it gets so much better than this. It gets so much better than this. And um, I, I wanna give a special um, shout out as well from my brother, Eric Welteroth, who graduated from Bridgepoint, class of 2002. Shout out to class of 2002, I know we sound old. I was class of 2004 uh, from Newark Memorial and um, I remember my brother's graduation at Bridgepoint like it was yesterday and it was such a proud moment. And I'm just, I have chills thinking about um, what this moment really means for all of you right now. So I hope that you can feel the love. I hope you feel encouraged go out there and do what you were put on this earth to do. I believe in you and I'm sending you so much love. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020 at Bridgepoint and Crossroads in Newark. With love from New York City. I hope to meet you guys one day soon. Bye.